Well, good day, friends, and welcome back to the St. Paul Handicapable Ministry. Today, we've got a special guest that's going to be with us. Before we get to the special guest, remember the promise that Jesus gave us a long time ago? And surely I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Our prayer today is going to be a special prayer for our Brother Doc and his wife, Pat, who came to visit Handicapable recently. Oh, Father, we just say special blessings on our dear friends, our Brother Doc and Pat, and just ask that you would bless our service today. We're so thankful for the fact that he came and visited us a, a couple of weeks ago, and what a wonderful and uh, experience that was for all of us. Bless us in all that we do, for we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. This text I just received from Brother Doc, it says, You don't need to be perfect to inspire others, that people get inspired by how you deal with your imperfection. I love that, uh, Brother Doc. Thank you for passing that on. Now, without further ado, I want to welcome Brother Doc through the introduction that we had when he was here. And also, we'll see a close-up of some of the ones of Handy Capers who had their pictures taken with Brother Doc. Here we go. All right, we've got our intro for Brother Doc and his wife, Pat. We put this together, Brother Doc. And we're well, I got to show you the introduction. Then we're going to bring you on, okay? <laughs> I will come down there. You want to be down here? Okay. All right, you ready? Here we go. Today, I want to introduce you to my good friend, Dr. Scott Glenn. Back in high school, Brother Doc, as I affectionately called him, was recruited by Bruce Arians, former head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, to play for him when Bruce was the head coach of Temple University located in Philadelphia. Brother Doc served in the United States Marine Corps from 1993 through 1997. After serving in the military, he became the assistant football coach for Albright College from 2004 through 2007 and Cutstown University in 2010, where he inspired his players to excel reach for the stars, and dedicate themselves to be the best players and persons they could become. After coaching, Brother Doc chose to pursue an MBA in business and a doctorate in education. He then became an instructor at Pennsylvania State University from 2015 to 2022, where he taught marketing and business and was named a distinguished professor in 2020. In addition, Brother Doc is now an assistant professor of business and NCAA faculty representative at Goldie Beacom College in Wilmington, Delaware. Brother Doc is also a dedicated and loving husband to his wonderful wife, Pat, both of whom have a true love for dogs, just as Renee and I do. They also enjoy traveling around the country to see memorable sights in our beautiful America. Along his life's journey, Brother Doc has met many well-known people, including the owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers and Philadelphia Eagles president, while enjoying sporting events of all kinds. Brother Doc is the author of seven books and an award-winning author and screenplay creator for Heroes from Heaven, the movie. Most importantly is Brother Doc's love of his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Brother Doc, we love you and Pat with the love of the Lord and are so honored to have both of you present with us tonight. To God be the glory as we welcome our special guest this evening. Let's have a great big round of applause. I'll come down there, Brother Doc. Okay. Can you guys hear me good? Yeah. Let's give uh, Brother Horton an outstanding hand for that introduction over there. Let's give yourselves a big hand for coming here tonight. 
Now let's give yourselves a real big hand for loving one another. As Brother Horton said, I was blessed to meet a lot of different people. I was blessed to do a lot of things. As you can see on the screen, that is Coach Dabo Sweeney. Anybody ever here at Clemson football? That's the head of the football coach at the head of Clemson University. He has several of my books that I sent to him, and he has a term that he always uses, and he says, all in. When Brother Horton said, one, love one another, it's important that you understand why. And the reason why we want to love one another, because who said for us to one love, love one another? Jesus. So when I say, all in, you say Jesus. All in. Jesus. You got to let him hear you. All in. All in. All right. And some more pictures of Coach Dabo Sweeney. Dabo Sweeney always teaches his team about love. Loving each other and being all in. Playing as a team, not as individuals. A few things I want to give to you from the scripture. This isn't nothing new under the sun. And this is what I'm going to talk about the next couple of minutes. All in with Jesus. The creator. He's our love, our strength. He's our enabler of life life changer, the great I am, which means God. He's the bright and shining light. Jesus is everything. Let's give Jesus a hand, people. <laughs> All in. All in. Psalms 139, people. God the creator and Lord. He's the creator of all things. Anything that God makes is great. Everything that God makes is beautiful. That includes you, myself. That includes us together. For it was you who created me inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know this very well. The next time you go home and you look in the mirror, tell yourself you're beautiful because God, Jesus says that you're beautiful because he made you. Galatians 5.22, people. God is love. And because we are created in God's image, that means we are love. We are to love each other. We are to love ourselves because God loves us. Not in a selfish way, but love ourselves because he created us. This is how you know that you are love. This is how you know that I love you. This is how I know that you love me. We're not perfect, but we should do these things. We should have joy. I see and feel a lot of joy in here tonight, which means I know that you know Jesus. You should have peace. You should have patience, which is hard at times, but there's times that you should know how to have peace, joy, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Whenever people see you, if you tell them you follow Jesus, they're gonna look for these things. They're going to look for your joy like Brother Horton displayed on stage. They're going to look for your love, your generosity. They're going to look for your kindness, your goodness, and your faithfulness. Philippians 4.13. We live in a world that can be stressful at times. But if you know Jesus and you have peace and you have joy, you can block all that stuff out because your strength relies on the Lord. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not Bob, not Dad, not Dr. Glenn or Brother Doc, Brother Horton, but through Christ who strengthens me. My man Nick said, put a go in front of disabled. And it spells God is able. You may hear different words like disabled. I don't want you to look at that. All right? The only thing that's disabled are people with bad attitudes, and we'll see about that in a little bit. Sometimes things can't change that you can't change end up changing us. My faults or something that's wrong with me or whatever, that can, that can help change myself or can help change you. You can take a negative and make a positive depending on your mindset, depending on your love, depending on your joy, depending on your faith, depending on how you, you feel Jesus, you use Jesus and believe in him. Robert Head says there's no greater disability 
in society than the inability to see a person as more. I see you as more. I see you as great. You're the most beautiful person in the world. All of you are. You have to see yourselves like that. You have to see us like that because we're people that God made. We're believers in Jesus. That's what makes us different. And those that don't know him, that want to accept him, will realize this themselves. Our disability will never make God love us less. I keep talking about disability, but it's just a word. Disability is an attitude. Disability could be a negative attitude. We're all special. We're not perfect, but we're made in his image. And because we love him, he sees us as perfect. So be happy and thankful for that. My disability has opened up my eyes to see my true abilities. I keep using the word disability again. That means my faults. Because of my faults, I learned to rely on Jesus, use his strength, and understand his love, his peace, his joy. And that's the way we all should feel. I want you to remember one thing, people. The only disability in life is a bad attitude. I want you guys to be all in. Yeah. I want you to be all in. Yeah. That's what Coach Swinney said. Yes, sir. And the only disability in the life is a bad attitude. Yeah. walks of life into his football camp to talk to his team and to talk to the community. Clemson has won several national championships because all in. Not just all in for self or for us, but all in for Jesus. So let's give a big round of applause and hand for Jesus. He said, "All I tell you what, that was a powerful message. You packed a lot of words and a lot of meaning. Any great to have Brother Doc and his wife Pat here with us today? I'm going to ask them. Maria, I'm going to get you a part of the presentation here. If you'll come up, let me tell you a little bit, Brother Doc, about Maria. When Bill Prince started the ministry, uh, Back, gosh, it was just almost at the very beginning. He elected, <laughs> or selected, whichever way you want to do it, Maria to lead our Special Olympics team. And of course, for Maria, <laughs> when Bill Fritz, he would usually call you about five o'clock in the morning. So you just want to get him off the phone and say, Brother Bill, just whatever you want me to do, just don't call me at five. You can tell me later what I'm agreeing to. But anyway, she has held that position as being the leader of our Special Olympic things. I see Jim over there. I see so many other parents that have been involved in Special Olympics. But I don't want to invite Pat, and I want to invite you, Brother Doc, to come up here, and she's going to present y'all with a special hat here. This is number 42. Do you know who wore 42? Hey, Jack, who said that? Jackie Robinson. Okay, very good. So smart right there. Let's give a great big hand, okay? Oh, thank you.
Well, I hope all of y'all enjoyed that. And don't forget to become better followers of Jesus. What do we need to do? We need to follow Jesus. We need to read, believe, and act on his word. And certainly we need to pray for strength and guidance. All righty, we'll see you again this next week. God bless you all and stay safe out there. Have a good one.